Hey everybody, this is Harrison welcoming you to Bleeping Behind the Cast, Episode 3, Part 2. So, this was kind of weird how this all came about, but kind of made it like a little small trilogy this week. Of course, Part 1 is Episode 3, Part 1. Uh, part 2 is the actual stream, No More Room in Hell. You can check that out at our Twitch page, which is twitch.tv slash bleeping games, and this is the conclusion. This is the third part of that night uh, that we put together. Don't forget to check out our website. That's where we sort of have a hub of all things bleeping games, podcasts, writing, highlights, all that good stuff. Any sort of site that we might have connected to it is going to be at bleepinggames.com. So we played No More Room in Hell, and it is a really difficult game. You'll hear us talk a bit about that in the beginning. The only technical issue was uh, my microphone. I was coming in very low, so you can't always hear me very well. Just working out the kinks of my new microphone. Hopefully it'll all be fixed for next week. Otherwise, sit back, relax, and I really hope you enjoy the show. (laughs) That was a... That game's uh, hard as fuck. <laughs> that game is very hard. Uh, very, Jesus. Very difficult game. Yeah. And can you believe that there's actually a realistic mode? That's not the realistic mode? <laughs> no. Fuck. When you create the server, there's a checkmark box labeled realistic mode. I don't even want to know. That was your dog. Your dog needs to be fed. <laughs> yeah, that's what he wants. He wants food and or water. Food and or water. So we picked up another viewer. We're sitting at 18, I think. Yeah, sitting at 18. God, that game is so fucking hard. I'm trying to figure out how to <laughs> how to de- donate to the team. What in the shit? <laughs> Apparently we are also feeding his dog. <laughs> I don't know, man. Call of Duty... Can't do it. I kind of want to scratch that Battlefield itch, but Call of Duty, I don't think is it for me. Yeah. What's up? I said I kind of want to scratch that Battlefield itch, but I don't think Call of Duty is it. That rich bitch itch? That rich bitch itch, yeah, it's getting to me. Man, I still haven't gotten my refund. Okay, I'm actually thinking about picking up King Arthur's Gold. Uh, I was actually thinking about picking it up as well. Have you watched the trailer for King Arthur's Gold? No, should I? Yeah, you need to watch it. Like in Steam, I need to watch it? Yeah. Do I need to watch it with? With volume, yes. Like, it's each one of those little guys, like, a player? Up, to, thir- they- up to 32 players, so maybe. Uh, that's what it seems like. I think this this game might provide more enjoyment than Battlefield. I don't know about that. Battlefield's pretty fucking awesome. <laughs> what, the, um... King Arthur's Gold? King, Ar- King Arthur's Gold. Yep. You should check that out. I was checking it out earlier. With the uh, with the sound on. Could do that. Yeah, then no, you'll like the trailer a lot. Trust me. I'm so pissed off about Battlefield, man. <laughs> I'm so pissed off. And I, I should I think you should be more pissed off than me. <laughs> See, he's so pissed off he can just laugh at his situation. That's all he can do. He's laughing to keep the tears from falling. Is that right? Yep. I knew it. Fucking knew it. I mean, he liked the game so much he bought it twice. (laughs) Did you really? (laughs) Yeah, because of this asshole. (laughs) Why did you buy it twice? (laughs) Oh, my God. So do I need to explain it or are you going to explain it? Oh, no, I'm totally going to let you explain it. (laughs) Because I didn't buy it twice. (laughs) Why, Why did you buy it twice? Okay, so I bought it. Okay. I bought the Rich Bitch Edition. All right. Said, you know what? Fuck it. This game is too buggy for a hundred whatever dollar I spent. So I did. I saw. I put in a refund. And then, early on Monday morning, I get a message from uh, Josh saying, "Well, he didn't even say anything. He just sent me the link." Oh no 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 no! I said, <laughs> "Holy shit! Check this out. Am I seeing this right?" Oh yeah, and so I clicked on the link. And I looked at it. It said forty nine ninety five or fifty nine ninety five for the rich bitch edition. At least that's what I thought. 
I looked it over and looked it over. I said, mm, I wonder if they mispriced it or they fucked it up and they're going to come back later and say, oops, we screwed up the price. You know, we can't sell this to you. Didn't see the fine print. I said, you know what? Let's buy it and see what happens. <laughs> oh, it was forty nine ninety five. So I bought it. Uh-huh. Almost immediately after I clicked the, the final submit button, mm-hmm. it's like as soon as I clicked it and the page reloaded and it said, thank you for your purchase, I get a message saying <laughs> something about the fine print. So I said, huh, there's fine print? So I went back to the page, clicked on the original link, scrolled down, scrolled down, scrolled down. Sure enough, there's a little bit of fine print at the bottom. It says that you have to have the base game. <laughs> this, <laughs> what, I, what I just bought was just the add-on. <laughs> so basically what happened was I sent him this link and I was like, hey, make sure I'm not about to do something fucking stupid. <laughs> Put some eyes, put some eyes on this page, and make sure that I'm not missing something. And I got some stupid. What does this guy do? I'm buying it. Fuck it. I'm buying it right now. Fuck it. <laughs> See, because I thought it was one of those things where, you know, they accidentally put the wrong price on their product. <laughs> you know, like when Macy sold their twelve hundred dollar necklace for twelve dollars. <laughs> And the beauty part is, is you just, like you can't even return it. You can't. Oh. <laughs> in the in the uh, in the uh, the the frequently asked questions, there's a refund section, and they say they don't normally do refunds, and but you can submit a request, and they'll look over your request, and you know it's like I think it's like a case by case basis. Right. And then after all of that shit, there's a line at the very bottom that says, no refunds for EA or Bethesda games. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, fuck. I'm stuck with an add-on for a game that I don't have. So I have wasted $50. So I'm like, fuck it. Instead of wasting it, I might as well just buy the damn base game and just be able to play it. <laughs> So I bought the base game. You bought it a second time? You bought it a second time already? I, I, yeah, I bought the base game. <laughs> the add-on. Except Origin still hasn't processed my refund from my original purchase. <laughs> I'm not sure what what would happen if I because when you buy the game through GameStop, they they send you the they send you the uh, the product code so right. that you can put it just like they do through Steam, you know? Right. right. Yeah. So I'm sitting on the product code. Waiting for Origin to refund my original purchase and take it out of my lot. Li- excuse me, out of my library <laughs> before I can put the product code for the new game in. Because I'm not sure what would happen if I try to activate the product code for the new game with the game still already in my library. I don't know, but that's one of my favorite stories. Oh god! So you spent thus far because you haven't gotten a return. Like two hundred and twenty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> On a broken game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, man. So hopefully I get my refund tomorrow. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That's just, that's just good times. <laughs> good times. That is, that is brilliant times, absolutely. So now we just need to get Harrison to buy Battlefield, so we can just get a full, uh, full squad, full squad going. I'm not buying it yet. See you, Harrison and Pilot Light. Yeah, I- I'm gonna wait a bit. Dude, oh yeah, so you definitely want to wait until Akate says it's fixed and playable. <laughs> What's crazy is that my brother doesn't have any problems with it. He has not experienced any of the crashing we have. He hasn't experienced any of that audio looping crash. Yeah, that, says, that's game the works game like just for me. For him. The audio looping crash is the game breaker for me. I only crashed out of loading a level like once or twice. But the fucking audio loop was all the time. Like every 15 minutes, it's like, boom, done. You're, you're, it'll play the last three seconds of audio over and over and over and over again. Yeah. But Tom, I had some dude shouting something in Chinese, and the last three seconds of that shouting was playing over and over and over again. 
If I had like, to shut it down. that we lost Charlie one more time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that little graphic I threw together for that post is pretty fucking spot on. That's when I first experienced the audio loop was a grenade was exploding next to me. And it was just nonstop. Sound like a million grenades going off one after yeah. another. And it took me a second to realize what the hell had happened. Because I had the Skype going and I was still talking to you guys while my shit was frozen. Yeah. <clears throat> yep, so then while we all downloaded Battlefield, we played Rift, and we thought Rift was fucking up because we were downloading Battlefield, and then come to find out Rift had merged a bunch of servers, and the server we were on was just fucked up. It was affecting everybody. It was good times. And, and in the middle of that, the guys that made Rift was having some kind of Twitch thing some kind of, uh, for uh, Extra Life. Yeah. And so everybody in the chat kept asking over and over and over, what's wrong with the server? What's wrong with the server? What's wrong with the server? <laughs> and they tried their hardest to ignore it. <laughs> they kept playing and talking like nothing was going on, but everybody kept asking every few minutes, what's wrong with the servers? <laughs> I think I might do Evo Land tomorrow. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Evo Land's fun. Yeah. I was looking I don't, at I, my friend Michael has it. I played it on his. Yeah. I'm either going to do Evo Land or Blood Bowl. Oh, Blood Bowl. I don't own Blood Bowl, but I've always wanted to play Blood Bowl. Yeah. Well, I was, I was looking through some of the uh, the games I, I have, so... When did you buy Blood Bowl? Did I? Uh, I picked that up at a hund- uh, Humble Bundle. Oh, Humble Bundle. Bundle. Humble did you, are you buying the new one? <laughs> Fucking Humble Bundle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! I know. I was wondering how long it was gonna take. I've already, I've already heard this rant too. <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, you know, when <laughs> the Batman Arkham Origins comes out, Steam has a big sale. Buy both Arkham Asylum and Arkham City for I don't know whatever else. Like it was like twenty bucks. Mm-hmm. And uh, a couple weeks, why would you not do that? That's what I'm saying. Why would you yeah, not? I would not do that. And then a couple of weeks before that. Uh, Scribblenauts was on sale, like fifty percent off or whatever. So I picked up Scribblenauts. Yep. Oh shit, I'm picking. Guess up what two bundle. games are in the fucking humble bundle? Yeah, I'm looking at it. Arkham uh, City, Arkham Asylum, and Scribblenauts. Yes. You already own Arkham Asylum, right? No, I don't. I don't. I no, no, no. I have it uh, for PS3. Oh. I never got it. Yep, I'm totally getting this. Yeah, I mean it's hard to pass up this humble bundle. Yeah. I mean, granted, I've passed it up already, but I mean it's hard to pass it up. <laughs> You were thinking about it. It's hard. It's hard for a normal mortal to pass it up. Not for me. I, I understand that. You have all those games already. Uh, I have. I have both of the uh, Batman games. I've played Fear Two and Fear Three. I don't even give a fuck about Lord of the Rings: War in the North. The <laughs> only one that interests me is Scribblenauts. I mean, and let's be honest, it's worth five dollars. Five dollars is worth it. Yeah, pay more than. Four sixty to unlock. I usually just pay ten. Yeah, me, me too. Yeah, the weekly sale. Let's see what's in the weekly sale. Worms, 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 like worms. motherfucker. Worms, worms, frog. And you pay six dollars or more. You get Alien Breed, Alien Breed Two, Alien Breed Three, and more worms. You can't go wrong with worms. Is Alien Breed any fun? I don't even know what that is. I also don't know why you started to sound like you're from Brooklyn. <laughs> From Brooklyn. Yeah, it's alien you did it fun. This is the way the inflection was <laughs> I think it's the beer. Oh, is that what it is? You're gonna you're gonna yeah. chalk it up to alcohol? Yeah, it's the alcohol. I don't know, but six bucks for what, four worms games? Five worms well, worms pinball, I'm not counting that. Alright, so okay, so Alien Breed is kind of like a top down shooter. Wait, what the fuck is half this shit? Hold on. Worms Armageddon, I know. What is Worms Blast? Fuck if I know. I don't think I've played any of the Worms games. And then Worms Crazy Golf. I'm not. I'm not. No, I've seen it played, but it's it looks fun. Don't get me wrong. Oh, okay. Alien Breed. All right. I know what this game is. Bitch, we're talking about Worms. That game was pretty fun. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck Worms. (laughs) I mean, you're not even in this conversation anymore. You're talking about Alien Breed. I'm holding my own conversation. All right. (laughs) Alien Breed's like a top-down shooter, huh? I thought we were talking about Worms. What the fuck? You talking about? (laughs) What the fucker? Kind of uh, like you know what we're gonna you know what we're gonna talk about now Super Frog. How you feel about Super Frog HD? The fuck is Super Frog? I don't know. It's in the humble bundle with the worms. Let's take a look. It's fucking Sonic. In 1993, Super Frog was released to critical acclaim. 
So tell me that's not off, Sonic. They rip that off is... Sonic and then they claim they got critical acclaim. I had never heard of this game in my fucking life. What game is this? Super Frog HD in the humble Honda Weekly Bundle. Bundle. <laughs> the Humble Weekly Bundle. Let me tell yeah. you. Let me tell you who was balls deep in side-scrolling action games in 1993. This dude right here, and who has never fucking heard of Super Frog HD. Well, it was called Super Frog back then. You gotta get it right. Oh well, yeah, I was all up in some Super Frog. The HD version is new. <laughs> Twenty years later, all right. Man, look, if you're on, what is this, Team 17? If you're on that, that member of Team 17, if you're like that 17th member, you just signed on and they're like, look, we're going to need <laughs> to update Super Frog. Do you just, try, to, try to make it sound as awesome as you can. Yeah, kid, I need you to lead in with words like, back in 1993, <laughs> Super Frog was released to critical acclaim. Oh, that's what it looked like. Okay, so it does have old footage of it. I must have skipped that. Old footage. What did you see the old footage? Like at the very beginning of the trailer, it starts out with old footage of Super Frog. And then it, for like three seconds, and then it morphs into the new shit. Yeah, I just got ah, okay. the Humble Bundle. Of course you did. I wasn't paying attention. <clears throat> I kind of, I think I like the old graphics better. I kind of do too, actually. I like the old graphics better. He actually looks like a frog in the old graphics. <laughs> What the fuck is this new frog? I don't know. I thought it kind of looked like a turtle in the old graphics. <laughs> All right, so Scribblenauts Unlimited. How does that compare to the new one that just came out? The Scribblenauts Unmasked? Yeah. Uh, there's no superheroes in it. All right, well, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm gonna I, add don't you tell, I don't know what else you want me to tell you. Um, nothing, really. I think you covered everything. <laughs> Do you think they're going to add any more games to it? I doubt it. I mean, there's a lot of big titles in that thing. Yeah. Apparently, Chung said that the Humble Bundle website went down when they first put up Batman. And I think so many people hit it at the same time. It took their website offline. Well, I mean, let's be honest. Those are the two good ones. From what I hear, Origins is horrible. Oh, really? Yes. Well, A, it's buggy as fuck. And B, I've heard that there's a lot. Well, there's a lot of game breaking bugs with that. I don't know if they patched out yet or they're patching out. But C, I heard they didn't really innovate on anything. It's just the same stuff that you did in Arkham City, <clears throat> which was the same stuff you did from Arkham Asylum, huh? But you did it in a city, goddammit. <laughs> Who makes the Batman games? I don't even know. Uh, Warner Brothers, apparently. Wait, maybe that's why. Maybe Arkham Origins is a different company. Arkham Origins is... WB Bo Games. Uh, so it's the same? And Splash Damage. Oh, uh, so Splash Damage was a developer? They list them both under developer on Steam. For Arkham what? Origins. Oh, really? How does that compare to the other games? Uh, let's see, Arkham Asylum, developer Rocksteady Studios, and Arkham City. Rocksteady, probably. Rocksteady. So it is. It's a different developer. Yeah, they they uh, they develop it in house with the help of uh, Splash Damage. So that's probably why it wasn't as good. <laughs> probably. Warner Brothers looked at some dude. That and Warner Brothers looked out their, their executive office door and said, Hey, anybody got a cousin that can program? <laughs> said, Yeah, my cousin Joe can uh, make websites. You should see his MySpace page. <laughs> They're like, Bring that motherfucker in here right now. He's the best programmer we got. And let me tell you what I would play the fuck out of if it was multiplayer. We'd be playing that shit tonight. Lego Marvel superheroes. Oh, I thought you were about to say space engineers. Well, that's a given. Lego Marvel superheroes is not... Multiplayer? It's local co-op only. Motherfucker. Yes, I love the Lego games. Yeah. Like, Lego, I, I kind of want to play it just to play it. Pick it up and stream it. Yeah. That sounds like a great fucking idea. Except I, I got to play Pre Deadly Premonition. Oh, you're still uh, streaming that? Yeah, I just didn't do it yesterday because I was really tired. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I don't want to think. So then I picked a puzzle game that was... A, that yeah. was nothing but thinking. It was really hard on me. When the fuck did I pick up the Testament of Sherlock Holmes? Humble That's, Bundle. Yes, yeah, I was say, that sounds like a Humble Bundle, too. Okay. 
Now, you know what's really awesome about Marvel superheroes? You can play as Deadpool. What is final, uh, final example? Okay, never mind. I watched the trailer for this earlier. Why don't you pick up uh, DuckTales Remastered? Fucking A. I forgot about it, actually. <laughs> I do so love me some DuckTales. Yeah. Hey, did you see that, uh, that I picked up uh, Betrayal uh, at the House on the Hill? Wait, what? Betrayal at the House on the Hill. It's no, a, the, it's a board that? game. Oh, is it? Yeah. You know, there's a board game I wanted to look at. Somebody was telling me about called Pathfinder. Have you heard about that? Pathfinder, no. Okay, so let's go back to Betrayal at the House on the Hill. Uh-huh. That sounds exactly what would happen to us if uh, we were at a House on the Hill with Mad Laffer. Dude, it, well, it's... it's. I don't know why you're bringing up old shit, all right? <laughs> It's called Betrayal House on the Hill, not Betrayal Here's a Propane Tank. <laughs> it, uh, it has a lot of replay value to it. Um, because it, you never know who's the person who's going to be the betrayer. And uh, there's all these different scenarios depending on... I know who's on... going to be the betrayer. <laughs> Mad laugh. Every time. Every time. Not every time. Just every other time. Every time I can possibly be it. It's a role-playing game. What? Pathfinder? Yeah, the, I think there was like a card game. It's like some kind of... I don't know where the hell I saw it at. Maybe it's... Oh, look up for Pathfinder Rise of the Rune Lords. Oh, that's a card game, yeah. Yeah. No. Rise of the R- Rune Lords? I've heard good things about it. I, I'm seeing a shit ton of card... I mean, uh, cards for... Oh my okay. god, dude! There, I found a new uh, dice game. Chupacabra um, survive the night. <laughs> Glow in the dark dice game. Do you know you just said Chupacabra oh, and not? <laughs> like you said Chupacabra and Chupacabra. Okay, now that makes more sense. Chupacabra. Chupacabra. You are always fixated on Jews. Love them. Modest Yahoo all the way. <laughs> I don't know. I'm watching somebody play uh, Marvel superheroes, and I really want to play it. <laughs> Pick it up. Wow. Could you say that like a man? Listen, turn out the lights and try to be the last mammal standing in the survival dice game. <laughs> based on this life. sounds like no. This sounds like something like a frat dude would say to a bunch of hey, we got this dice game. You're gonna turn out the lights. <laughs> the rape is what this game is. Each player takes six dice and rolls them. If you roll a each player, each player takes off their pants and turns off the lights and takes yeah. a dice. First one pregnant loses. <laughs> oh man, this looks awesome. Here's what I'm telling you right now: I'm not playing that game with you. Why not? I'm not taking my pants off in a dark room with you. It's not like you've never done it before. I don't again. Know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear the again. <laughs> I really want to play Battlefield right now. Hey, I know what you can do. You can buy it again. <laughs> <laughs> Are you telling me it's fixed? It's work? It's working? Uh, yeah. Oh, man. Let me put my credit card info in now. I'm just going to watch some people play Battlefield and pine over the experience. Why don't you pick it up for console? Because, I mean, eventually, if I'm going to buy it again, I'm going to buy it on PC when it works. Because that's where most of the people are going to buy it that I own, that I know, you know? <clears throat> Akate's going to have it. Pilot Light's got it. I'm sure if anybody else I know is going to buy it, they're going to buy it on PC. That's just where all my friends play these days. Oh man, there's a new uh, booster pack coming out for Munchkin. What? Yep. Uh, Munchkin gets promoted is a 15 card booster pack for use with the Munchkin base game. Contains three new cards: Billard, Ball of Non-Existence, Get Ahead, and the uh, and Get Promoted, along with a dozen previous release promotional cards that are now out of pr- uh, print. I definitely want to check that out. Yeah. Oh, hey, uh, Rob, if you get a chance, you definitely need to check out... Um... Battlefield 4? Yes, Battlefield 4 is fucking <laughs> amazing. I hear it's working now. Um... <laughs> you need to check out the Sipsco Space Program series. Okay. Because it had me in tears yesterday at work. Oh, really? Yeah. They're up to 15 episodes. It's great. <laughs> so what are they pl- They're playing... Uh... Um, they're playing on their, their Galactic Craft server, but they got a shit... You mean send you the link of the shit that they got on it? Are they just running 
they running a base? Are they running a base ticket? I'm not. Or are I'm, they... I'm not. I'm don't even know. <laughs> Load up all kinds of shit on a on a plain bucket server. I I think it's on a ticket server. I'll show you. Look, go to this link, and then click on the info. Do they say what they're playing on in the first episode? I don't know. I never watched the first episode of them. They Sips and Shin don't because they don't fucking know. The uh, Duncan Lewis and uh, Simon one is called Moon Quest. That's the one that has all the shit listed at the bottom. They built their own custom mod pack. Nice. And according to the Technic launcher. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, but I don't know if that's the the same pack. Like that's, I think that's from their old. You're talking about the Yog box that's listed in the Technic launcher. Uh huh. I don't yeah, know. I don't know that that's the same, the same one that they're using for the thing. Fire it up. Let's fucking find out. I'm gonna fire it up. You know why? Because I don't give a fuck. Uh, yeah, Harrison, we're gonna need you to get uh, Minecraft too. By the way, see what's funny is if we Gold get this, if we get this server up and running, Harrison's gonna be on it 24 seven. Why do you, Why do you think that? Because this is your shit. Minecraft is your shit. Do you think that's why I might have been staying away from it for all these years? No, I don't. Why do you think I've been staying away from it? Because you thought it was fucking $40 because you didn't know the difference between a pound and a euro? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you've talked about it since it was like 10 or $15 and I still didn't buy it then. You didn't have a computer back then that would run it. Yeah, I did. Did you? Yeah. I was right. You've had that Mac forever, huh? Uh-huh. You've had a Mac laptop in one way, shape, or form for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my, uh, I, yeah, because uh, I have my dad's now that he, <laughs> he got to use for about six months. What the hell is that noise? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm scratching my, uh, my beard. No, no, no. There's something going on on my, on my Minecraft. How do you add mods to a tech server? I don't know. You're, you're the tech guy. Uh, I found it. Okay. Oh my god, there's zombies with armor in this shit. In your yog box? Yeah. And they instantly killed me. <laughs> Can I just say that white people need to stop saying twerk? It doesn't sound right. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm about to call it a night, so I'm going to grab a shower. Alright, man. I'm going uh, to right. head out as well. It has been fun. I will uh, catch you guys on...